Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new video and welcome to a brand new year. Yes, we are now well and truly into 2020 and I am starting, slowly but surely, I'm going to be starting to do my reviews and I've kind of been stockpiling over the past week or two, maybe even the past month actually, the odd little thing here and there. Um, I got some stuff for my birthday, as you know. I got I got something for myself for Christmas, as you would have seen in the last video. And uh, so yeah, this is something I've been waiting to review because it wasn't complete. It still isn't complete. Um, I'm still. It's actually kind of like ninety nine percent complete. Um, I'm missing one panel, but uh, other than that. It is still good enough to review. Um, also, I am missing the missiles on this guy. As you see by title page, I am going to be reviewing Transformers Armada Megatron with Leader One. Let's go. Armada Megatron. Isn't he a glorious green weird boy? <laughs> I absolutely love this toy. And some out there will be like, why do you love it so much? Well, I will answer that. Uh, the reason why I have always had an appreciation for this toy is because I never owned it as a kid. And it always felt like one of those things that was out of reach and I'd never, never earned. And when I was a kid, we had um, a little toy shop just at the top of my street here. And I used to go there quite frequently. Um, I used to get my Pokemon cards from there. I used to get Pogs. Remember Pogs? Jacks? All that stuff. I used to get them all from there. And... <laughs> These were in there as well. They had pretty much all of the uh, Autobots and, 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 well, majority of the Decepticons in there when I was a kid. For some reason, I only had a certain amount of characters from Transformers. I had mostly Beast Machines, Beast Wars. Well, I had mis mo most. I had Transmetal, Rat Trap. I had Jet Storm um, from Beast Machines. Uh, I had a little Optimus Primal from Beast Machines. Uh, bro, I had quite a few little, little weird assortment of figures. And I, when I was a kid, I actually did enjoy the Unicron trilogy. As I got older, I understand the issues that it has. But when I was a kid, I enjoyed it. Armada is my favourite out of the trilogy because the toys, and I think this, this, the show itself isn't as bad as what people say it is. In my opinion, it's not great, but it's actually pretty good because it's all proper animated rather than when it later on it was like CGI characters and it just didn't look right. Um, but uh, yeah, now I don't know if the sounds and lights on this guy are actually working. Um, I haven't even checked to be quite honest, I'm not even that bothered. But this guy does have a voice chip, or, or whatever you want to call it. it, does have a chip in it. And uh, that Decepticon logo there is supposed to light up, and I think the gun is, is supposed to light up as well, I think. Um, but uh, I've got a feeling that there's no batteries in this, so at some point I am going to put batteries in it and just check if the actual light-up sound thing actually works. 
But for this review, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you the no the, the voice clip because I don't I, I don't think I've got any batteries for it anywhere. Um, so isn't he glorious? I now finally own him. You know, he was in my my little toy shop at the top of my street. And I gushed at this guy because he was a big green goddamn tank, for crying out loud. What's not to love? And I wanted him so bad, but I never did for some reason. I never got this guy. Um, I never got majority of the Armada toy line, actually. Um, I think I had Cyclonus. I think I had Cyclonus when I was a bit younger as well. Um, but I never had... I didn't have anyone else. But yeah... Isn't he a glorious, glorious thing? He is absolutely awesome. A big, chunky, green. Um, as I mentioned, he is missing a panel, and he's missing this panel on his one of his legs. Um, I'm hoping to try and portray that in the future. Somebody did reach out to me and say that they've actually got a junker that they might be able to salvage that from, but I've not heard anything from that person since but um i'm actually quite content with it as it is actually, i think that kind of looks quite edgy seeing that big purple menacing thing on the back on the side of him it actually looks quite good in my opinion so but it has this panel here that's still there i it's supposed to open but i god no i don't think, i think it's supposed to open maybe not i don't know but uh, it won't open, so don't worry. <laughs> but uh, so as you can see, he was missing these originally. He was missing these claws. I managed to get those and his minicon for free off a of off Andrew Tate, I think his name is, off of off of Facebook. So if you're watching, my friend, thank you very much for your for your kind uh, contribution to this. Um, I was really flabbergasted by the generosity that I was given when I was trying to complete this guy. Um, people obviously knew that I was this was a, a, a toy from a childhood that I never owned and knew there was a, quite a connection there with the toy and um, when I was talking about it. And there, were, there was a lot of people that were very happy to try and help me out. Um, so I managed to betray his horns or his whatever you want to call them. Um, and I managed to betray leader one is Minicon. And those were the ones, the, the things that I thought I would never be able to get at a reasonable price. And I did get them. And I'm very happy. So then, that is his tank mode. It has little wheels underneath. Nothing really major. Let's transform him, shall we? So then, what you do is you just bring these bits down. Bring out the feet, bring out the, the heel bits there, then twist these legs completely 360, like, or whatever, like that, so that the, the abdomen bit is there. Then open these flaps, like that, and get your nail in there, sometimes it's a bit of a there we go. Bring down the arms on both sides. Like that. And then bring this thing here. Bring down to reveal the face and the head. So there he is. There is Megatron all transformed. And I absolutely love this thing. Um, I know a few people I've noticed that have reviewed this over the years. Um, some of them don't like the safety orange that's on him. Uh, I personally don't mind it. I actually quite like orange as a colour. Um, I've always been quite happy with like burnt orange that you see on cars and things like that. What I call burnt orange, and it looks really I like it. I think it looks really dynamic. But I understand that you know this orange plastic was there as a safety thing because there was this, you know, some kids unfortunately hurt themselves or unfortunately killed themselves by shooting a missile into into the down the throat and choking or something came off and put put them in the eye something like that and unfortunately parents of the world unite and they change things on toys so unfortunately we have these orange. Bits that are supposed to be safety pin. 
<laughs> anyway, but isn't he a glorious boy? He is awesome. Now, obviously, you know, I have pros and cons with him. Um, my, my only con I have is the, the, the turret is a bit annoying. Um, when I first got it, I've, I've done something to it, so now it, there's no ratchet on, on the turret. But when I first got it, I could hear like proper proper uh, clunky. But uh, I pulled out a tab thing at the back that somebody had in. And since I've done that, it's gone silent. So I'm suppo I don't know if that's supposed to be ha a thing. But um, I know that there's a gimmick with this, that you put the minicon on here. And then you basically twist it around when he's in robot mode. So I will show you that in a moment. So yeah, uh, these are functional. As you can see, they do come in because they've got like a pincer. You know, you can kind of pincer a min mini cons with them. Uh, he has this. I'll get his mini con in a mo uh, just to just to reveal this. He does have his little dagger that is functional in his uh, in this arm here. So just put that in and then push it down like that, like that, and that is all. Functional, which is great. I'm going to take that off a moment because I'll show you leader one in a second. So yeah, very nice indeed. So is that is uh, at articulation? There we go. In this mode is all. Oh, yeah, it does have nice ratchety joints there, and he has a nice little rats a quieter ratchet there on the elbow. The hand swivels. The arm does actually come out about that, but that's because it goes up into this bit here. So it's for transformation. The head moves like that. The there is 360 swivel of the abdomen. So yeah, the legs can go out as move these out of the way. Can go out like that. Again, for transformation, the cat go forward, and there's no knee. So, unfortunately, there's very little articulation on this guy for a Voyager class. Um, but, I don't care. He's, he just looks really, really awesome. He looks really cool. And then the face sculpt. Let me just show you the face sculpt. That is awesome. Decepticon logos on both of his shoulders. Very nice indeed. So let me show you his kind of like his battle mode or his penis extending mode, <laughs> as I would call it. Uh, right, so the, if I remember rightly from, from the show, he had two ways that he could use this his, his big massive, you know, cannon. So he could bring it down like this when he's in his normal mode bring the arm up and you could twist it through and you could just have it like that if you wanted uh, I do I do remember that you could do that I think that was if I remember right it was on the back of the box it was like something you could do um, I think it looks pretty damn badass actually just kind of turning his turret towards you like that but then there's the actual what I'll call the the official thing that you get with him so get it here Pull. That then allows you to then move this completely right around. Down again. And then you bring the, the turret out. Bring the arm down. And now you've got like a battle mode. So what you do now is you bring... you got If you've got a minicon, you push it on there like that. And it allows you then to just lever this around. So I'm not really going to bother with that because I don't have any missiles or anything. Also, you put your minicon on there, this purple tab here, and that allows you to then activate the missile launcher thing here. But again, I don't have any missiles, so yeah, I'm not going to bother with that too much at the moment. So yeah, so that's what you can do with a toy as a functionality. And he is awesome. So I put him down for a second. Let's bring in leader one. He is awesome. Little, little dude. Little dude. Little dude. Little dude. I absolutely love minibots. Minicons. Um, 
I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I'm a big fan of the G1 little mini bots and everything you can get. Um, a big fan of those little guys. They've got so much little. You know, they're so simple, but they've got a lot of character. Uh, I've always liked them. And uh, yeah, it's orange plastic for the guns. Safety. And uh, yellow cockpit bit there and little wheels that do roll. Transforming quickly. Da -da -da -da. There we go then. And there he is. Transformed. He is cute. He's a cute little guy. Uh, so that is leader one. That is one of them fundamental things why I like this toy and the toy line as a whole. I really, really love, love these little guys. They are simple, but they do have a, a they do have a job. You know, hidden weapons that are on the toy. You plug these in, you know, and it allows you then to, um, you know. It allows you then to kind of, fan, like on him for instance is a dagger, it allows you to launch missiles and everything. You know, it, it has a function out, functionality, it, it has a function should I say. And that's what I love about these guys, they're awesome. Very Japanese, but they're awesome. And uh, that's the review. Um, I know there's like other little bits on there that I could have shown you, like... Um, these do open as well. You can activate these for some reason. But again, I'm not really going to bother with that stuff because I don't have anything in there to fire or anything like that. So, But like I say, you know, you've got a purple port there as well. So that activates. Uh, you've got another port there, but it doesn't do anything. It's just so you can post. Um, apparently, I mean, this guy has one, two, three... Four, five, six. Let's have a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He has currently nine, but he might have. I might have another one. I don't know, but I can count nine mini ports just on this boy alone, which means he can. Even though his his guy is leader one. If you had like others in your collection, if you had other little mini bots, you could also attach them to him. So he can be like, he's got like a ultimate mode of com uh, mini cons, but it looks ridiculous. But you can do that if you want. Thank you for watching. This has been my review on this guy. I'm so happy to finally have him. He's awesome. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye bye for now. Happy New Year. Bye bye.